Welcome, my friends, to another episode of Motivational Moments with Maria. I'm your high performance coach today, and I'm thrilled, I'm honored that you're listening in. I continue to appreciate all your feedback, suggestions, so keep them coming in. Now, you know what my goal with this podcast is to help you stay more focused, more energetic, inspired, and positive so you can experience more fulfillment, fun, and joy in all areas of your life. And of course, it helps me stay more energetic, enthusiastic, passionate, and obsessed about the work that I'm doing. Wow. And this week, I'm even more enthusiastic. Why, you might ask? I'm even more enthusiastic this week. Is that possible? Well, my friends, last week, we launched our book. I was so blessed. I was so honored to be part of a group of very powerful agents and sharing their insight on conquering life's challenges. All right, you want to know the name of the book? It's called Navigating the Clickety Clack and features New York Times bestselling authors, Jack Canfield, Bob Proctor, Christy Whitman, and several other inspiring authors. It will make a great Christmas gift for those you love. So last week, I was teaching a sales skills class, and I thought it would be a great idea to share some of these thoughts because The thoughts we talked about not only relate to business, but to all aspects of our lives. So we find ourselves in life in one of two cycles. One is the success cycle and one is the failure cycle. And I've found myself in the past in both. And some of you may be familiar with it. And what I do know is we forget to remind ourselves where we are in our journey and to honor where we are in our journey. So here's what I'd love you to do. If you are sitting somewhere with a pen and a piece of paper, what I'd love you to do is to draw a circle, okay? Draw a circle, just like a clock. Set the dial at 12 and let's get started. And I'm going to start with the failure cycle because once you know where you are, we're gonna transform you into the success cycle. Now, all of the things we're talking about are all habits that we have the power to overcome. So let's begin at the top of the first circle. The top of the first circle says, oh my goodness, I don't have any prioritization skills. So right at the top, no prioritization skills. So then around one o'clock, what I'd like you to write in is when you have no prioritization skills, we procrastinate. We procrastinate. So procrastination goes in at about one o'clock. We procrastinate because we don't want to do the difficult task and we don't want to make ourselves look bad. Okay. So we procrastinate. We get a little frustrated with procrastinate and then At three o'clock, those little time bandits start to creep in. The time bandits start creeping in and they're saying, oh, I don't have enough time. I don't have enough time. I'm too busy. Listen, my friends, we are all given the same 24 hours each day. The time bandits are stealing your mind share. And then what happens is guilt begins to set in. So you start becoming negative at five o'clock. At five o'clock, you start becoming negative. And then once your mind goes into negative, what do you think happens? You start resisting. You resist people at home. You resist people at work. You resist the work that you know you're supposed to be doing. So then once you've done resisting, Your mind now goes in at nine o'clock. It's going into chaos. I mean, it is going into chaos. You don't know which way to go. You have so much to do. You've not done it. And then at 11 o'clock, you just completely shut down. You go into isolation. You stop caring about what happens. You withdraw. And I can always see when people are withdrawing because they stop participating. They stop participating in the activities of their daily lives. And you've probably seen it in your own household. So let me ask you, where have you been? 
Have you been in that failure cycle ever? Oh, I honor you and thank you for acknowledging that. We've all been there. So now let's get you transformed. Ask yourself, where, are, where am I right now? Let's get you transformed and move you to the success cycle. So I'd love you to do is draw another circle. You're gonna draw another circle. And in that circle, you're gonna go, I know, a top of the circle, sorry, I know the skills for my life. I know the skills to be successful. I know the skills necessary to be successful, however you choose to word it. Now you go, okay, I know the skills. So at one o'clock, dude, I'm going into action. I'm going into action. I'm taking action. And when you take actions, when you take action, you see results. You see results. So when I've got action and results, and then all of a sudden, a little bit of freedom shows up at three o'clock. So now you have freedom. Woo, I'm moving down the clock here, but I'm feeling pretty good. I've taken action. I've gotten results. I have fruit, well, freedom. Sorry about that. And so what happens with your mind is it goes totally positive. You're like killing it. You're loving it. It goes into a positive focus. And now that your mind is in a positive focus, it's willing to take on even more challenges. It takes on more challenges. So what happens now is you go into willingness to do even more. So the willingness comes in over and over and you're rolling with a big smile go, yeah, I'm rocking it. I'm ready to do more. So now you're communicating. Now you're communicating with others. You're putting in new systems, systems at nine o'clock and then you're computing communicating with that brain and your mindset that there is so much more to do. And then you can take more action, more action, giving you more freedom, more freedom, giving you a positive focus, positive focus, giving you a willingness to do more. So you see, it is a cycle. I want you to be in the success cycle. So let's focus on the success cycle again. I know the skills that I need to be successful. So I go and take action. I take action. Action gives me results. When I have results, I have freedom. When I have freedom, I have a positive mindset and a positive focus, thereby being willing to do more bring in systems to help me get even better and better and then communicate to that beautiful brain of mine that you're getting better and stronger and you can now go take on even more skills. Now, I know some of you are probably in the car or taking a walk and you're thinking, Maria, I need a visual, I need a visual. Hey coach, I need a visual. So what I've done is I've actually taken a visual and I've put these little smiley faces and the little sad faces up on my YouTube channel, Coaching with Maria, okay? So just go there. Now, they're elementary, simple drawings of just a happy face and a sad face. So I know the skills and then the failure cycle, the unhappy. So, what I'd love you to do is to evaluate where you are right now, where you are, and think about how you can keep yourself in the success cycle. Okay, keep yourself in the success cycle. Take daily action. Now, I hope you received some value in this episode, and I would love it if you would share my podcast with your friends and family. Always, always, if you have comments, suggestions, ways I can improve, please, please, please let me know. I am open to having some feedback from you. So my friends, until next time, I want you to stay focused, stay positive, Continue to find new ways of having fun in this crazy world we're in. And no matter what you choose to be, do, or have, be passionate about it. Thanks for listening in. I'm Coach Maria, and I'll talk to you soon.